Hello, my name is Brandomir Kane, and I'm a product marketing manager for Migrations at Atlassian. Today, I'll be giving an overview of how Confluence Cloud differs from the server and data center offerings you may already be familiar with. We're highlighting the most significant differences and sharing the latest improvements we've made to the product. Let's start off by talking about Create From Anywhere, which lets users get work done more easily with intuitive creating, organizing, and sharing. In Confluence Server and Data Center, you'll see the Create button in the header, which creates a page as the child page of the page you're currently viewing, which is well enough, but creating pages only in that way is not only a tongue twister to say, but more challenging than it needs to be. In the cloud, we have added the time-saving ability to create, copy, move, reorder, and edit pages directly in the page tree without needing to open up a page. Let's go to the giraffe project plan. Once we navigate to the page, you can see that we have the option to actually create pages directly in the left-hand side panel. In addition to being able to create blogs, we can also create pages within the space or as a child of an existing page. We can also reorder pages that might be out of order, and we can rename them with very little additional effort. But if you're really set on moving pages in the traditional way, you can still move pages using a wizard right here. In Confluence Server and Data Center, there weren't a lot of templates available. Additionally, to create a page from a template, you'd need to decide before you create, either clicking the Create button or the three dots to the right. Once you've decided on you're using a template, you'll be taken straight into a creation screen where you'll need to determine what space, template, and parent page you're going to use. In the cloud, it's a bit different. Once you've created a page, you'll have the option to start from scratch or to use a template. You'll see a content creation panel on the right-hand side where you can select a template from the space or import an external document like a Word or Google Doc. You can select over 100 templates that you can preview via the in-product template gallery. You'll note that these are broken into categories, helping you narrow down your search so you can find the right template a lot faster. We've also introduced starring, letting you select the templates that you use most often, creating a curated list just for you. And finally, when you're ready to preview a template, you can. You can select a template and see what it looks like, or select another one before you actually add any content. Anyone who's used Confluence Server and Data Center is likely familiar with our legacy editor that's built to help you format your Confluence page layout and text. You can add links, tables, images, attachments, and macros. You can also perform things like a find and replace or get help using the editor by choosing the help icon. In the cloud, you're going to be greeted with a new editor filled with loads of significant improvements. Though off the bat, you'll probably notice many familiar features are still available in the new editor, and some are still being worked on, and others have been redesigned completely to support more use cases, solve deeper problems, and make it easier to master. I want to call out the all-powerful slash command, which lets you do just about anything without lifting your hands off the keyboard. The slash command has replaced the toolbar, letting you search and browse for select macros. Once you find the macro that you're looking for, you'll notice that the editing experience is consistent with the viewing experience. So pages look the same when editing them and once they're published. A little feature we like to call live macros. Confluence Server and Data Center support Markdown to a degree. However, to insert Markdown, you're gonna to need to use a macro. And once you've pasted that macro, you're gonna to need to then insert it in. In cloud, the experience is a lot simpler. Markdown pasted to a page will automatically be converted and formatted. Anything including code block syntax will all be converted. And you don't have to wait to publish. You can see your markdown and what it'll look like while you're still in edit mode. Available in Confluence Server, Data Center, and Cloud, macros are powerful tools that let you extend the capabilities of your Confluence pages. And they really allow you to add extra functionality and include dynamic content. In Confluence Cloud, we've removed some of the older and unnecessary macros and introduced some new ones. Today, I'm going to talk about some of the new ones that were the most interesting. One of the newest macros that we've added is the Jira Roadmap macro. The Jira Roadmap macro allows you to provide the utmost transparency into your Jira Roadmaps. So if I were to select a particular project and then a board, we can then click Save and we'll actually see the Roadmap appear in my Confluence page, 
making it very easy to liaise and pass information off with stakeholders in one type of centralized location. In addition to that, we have something called the decision macro. The decision macro effectively allows you to track the choices that were being made during a meeting, a project, or some type of asynchronous work. And you might be thinking, okay, that makes sense, but then how do I track and aggregate all of the decisions that were made? Well, that's why we have the decision report macro. It actually aggregates across many different pages and all the decisions that were made. So if you have a consistent way that you're making decisions and logging them, you can actually use this to aggregate that information into one centralized place. We will continue to introduce new macros as use cases arrive and they garner interest from the community. Let's talk about how you can reveal important context about links within a Confluence page without leaving that page. Something brand new to Confluence is Smart Links, which lets you embed documents, videos, or data from apps. You can also view pertinent link information with just a couple clicks, supporting inline or card views. You can see here that when I paste a YouTube video from the Teamwork Lab at Atlassian, you can actually click into this video and display it as a card, which gives you a little bit more information about the video, or actually embed the video and watch it from the Confluence page without having to go to YouTube. But let's just take this one step further. What if I wanted to add something like a Google Sheet, for example, where I'm editing an actual file? When I embed this particular link, I actually have the ability to go in and edit the actual sheet. So I've added something directly there, and this is incredibly impactful. What it means is that there's no need to switch from one app to another. You can centralize how you work in a singular place, reducing the need for context switching or toggling between apps. Regardless of how good you think your Confluence page is, it's bound to get feedback at some point in time. And as a product marketer, I receive quite a bit of feedback, which is why I'm such a big fan of inline commenting, something you're likely familiar with from Confluence Server and Data Center. Supporting rich text, bulleted and numbered lists, links, mentions, images, and more. In the cloud, we've kept many of those great features and added just a few more. One of the biggest things is the inline discovery button here at the top. When clicking this, it'll bring you to the first set of comments and then you can navigate through as you go to review your pages. In addition to that, comments also support slash commands. So you can scroll through and pick a select group of macros to give more context to the comments that you're leaving. And arguably the biggest addition to this is the ability to leave comments while you're currently in edit mode. So as I'm reviewing something, I can go in, leave a comment, and then continue on the page during my review, allowing and making collaboration that much easier. Once you're all done, it's time to publish your page. In Confluence Server and Data Center, you'd find that the Publish and Close buttons are in the bottom right-hand corner, right alongside the Notify Watchers button. In Confluence Cloud, things have changed a little bit. When we go to a page that we're about to edit, and we're done editing that particular page, you'll see that the Publish button is at the top, and the Close button is also at the top. But you'll notice that there's no Notify Watchers button. Notify Watchers is implicitly turned on every time you edit a page. If you don't want to notify Watchers, you actually have the option to still do that by clicking on the More Actions bar here, and then Publish without notifying Watchers. Something else that you didn't have in Confluence Server or Data Center is the ability to schedule the publishing of a Confluence page. You can actually schedule a publish, selecting a future date and time, and then clicking schedule. This would allow you to set the page and forget it, so it can go out at the optimal time. Search is a crucial part of Confluence, regardless of what deployment option you're using. In Confluence Server and Data Center, Quick Search lets you search across spaces for specific pages using basic text matching. In Cloud, search can be found in the same spot. However, we've introduced some additional information to make it easier to find what you're looking for. The first thing you'll probably note is that you can see recent pages, spaces, and people you've recently collaborated with. In addition to being able to search through Confluence, you can search through any of your linked products, such as Jira or Bitbucket. If you need to refine your search a little bit further, you can use advanced search and filter by space, contributor, content type, and more, really letting you refine your search so you can find exactly what you're looking for. In addition to a more robust search, 
Confluence is best-in-class integration with Jira software lets users create issues directly from Confluence without ever having to switch products. By keeping you on the page, you're not taken out of the moment, and you can continue to plan and collaborate with your team. And that brings us to a close. Hopefully you've enjoyed this overview and walked away understanding how cloud is driving more efficient collaboration with a fluid editing experience, better search, and an overall simplified user experience. If you're ready to try out Confluence Cloud today, click on the box in the top right hand corner or visit the Atlassian Migration Center for more information.